Hey my dear little champs wish you all a happy and pleasant day have you all learned previous class who oh, what happened to meera she fainted teacher what will we do now don't panic my kids just hold her spray some water on her face and give lemon juice to drink Wow, she is okay right now. But teacher, from where did she got this energy? Yes, I will tell you. Lemon juice contains an acid called citric acid, and this acid acts as a source of energy. That is why she became very active after drinking the lemon juice. Then I also want some energy. Oh, it is very sore. Yes, my kid. Acidic food items have so taste. Teacher, is anything available which have an opposite taste to that of an acid? Yes, definitely. Then please tell us, ma'am. We are interested. Yes, I will tell you. We are supposed to start a chapter that comprises these concepts. So let's start second chapter, so called acids, bases, and salts. Friends. Is a red cabbage and chana rose are familiar to you? Yes, it is. But have you ever thought about their connection with acids and bases? Okay, let me explain. The red cabbage and chana rose are naturally occurring indicators and can be used to differentiate acids and bases. A red cabbage solution is normally purple in color. but with very acid solution it gives anthocyanin red and with bases it gives greenish yellow similarly chana rose convert acidic solutions to dark pink and basic solutions to green color so we just discuss the natural way of explaining acids and bases we can call this chana rose and red cabbage as natural indicators let's add some more items to this category We all are familiar with litmus paper. This is a natural indicator. Litmus solution is a purple dye that is extracted from the lichen plant. An acidic solution changes the color of blue litmus to red, while a basic solution changes the color of red litmus to blue. Turmeric which we are using in our home is the best example of a natural indicator turmeric changes its color in the presence of acids and bases in the presence of acids turmeric remains yellow but in the presence of alkaline substances it turns red hence we can say that turmeric is an ideal natural indicator for doing experiments with vinegar or citric acid or baking soda now let's have a look at the another class of indicators that is synthetic indicators methyl orange and phenolphthalein are used as synthetic indicators and show particular color changes with acids and bases phenolphthalein turns purple if it meets something basic such as ammonia and it stays colorless if it meets an acid like vinegar or a neutral substance like water similarly methyl orange has a yellow color with alkaline solutions and it immediately turns red with acidic solution friends let's discuss a question you have been provided with three test tubes one of them contains distilled water and the other two contains an acidic solution and a basic solution respectively if you are given only red litmus paper how will you identify the contents of each test tube okay i will explain let's take a red litmus paper and dip it in the test tube containing the basic solution can you see any color change here yes the red litmus paper changes to blue Now let's take another red litmus paper and dip it in the test tube containing the acidic solution. Can you see any color change here? No, you can't see any color change here. Can you tell me what happens if I dip 
red litmus paper in the distilled water. Here also you can't see any color change because water is neutral.